Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and it's time for another unboxing video. And so I'm just going to go through the stuff I got and show it to you. Uh, thank you to everyone who has donated toys to the show. Uh, please remember, you don't have to send something to me to be appreciated. Uh, I am happy just to have you here and just to have you watching the videos. Those of you, however, that choose to send stuff, uh, I'm going to put your stuff on camera for everyone to see with my deepest appreciation. I'm actually going to start with something that wasn't donated. This is actually something I purchased, but I just wanted to show it to you uh, because I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, so this is, um, I haven't opened it up yet, uh, I'm seeing it for the first time, uh, but it seems to be well packed by the seller. Um, and we have, let's see, let's zoom in. We, I've got a set of blueprints, although you may not be able to see this just yet, but that's some very important blueprints. Um, nicely packed. Uh, and now we have some pieces, some pieces that are still on the tree. And some of you may already recognize what this is. Uh, this is, oh, there's one piece that's kind of dangling there. But this is the 1988 uh, Destro's Iron Grenadiers um, AGP, or Anti-Gravity Pod. Uh, this is, um, I think it's the only one of those uh, 1988 um, Iron Grenadiers vehicles that I didn't have already. Uh, I got an excellent deal on this one. This was actually cheaper than just buying one already assembled, and it's got all of the parts still on the plastic tree. So I will probably do an assembly video for this thing. Now, I still don't have the driver. I don't have the nullifier, uh, but um, I've never actually had an AGP. Never had one back in the day, and um, the first time getting one as a collector, and I thought it would be pretty cool to actually assemble it. It doesn't come with the vintage box or anything like that. It's just the parts. Um, and the instructions, and right there, the sticker sheet. Uh, so I thought that would be fun for everyone to see. I'm going to put this thing together in a video. Uh, so that's just for starters. I did get this myself. This wasn't donated, but it's a pretty cool thing. All right, now let's get to something that was donated. This box is from Lawson Allen, uh, and he was featured heavily in my last unboxing video. Uh, he has sent a ton of stuff lately, and this is a pretty big box. I have no idea what's in here, so let's open it up and we can all see together. Right, I had to move the camera back a little bit. This is a really big box. I wanted to make sure I got it all in print. So, uh, let's open this up and see what's in it. Uh, we've got some packing material. That's always good. Uh, some bubble wrap. Uh, that will provide hours of entertainment later. Um, and what is in here? Um, I see one thing that's interesting. Um, and, okay, now this is unexpected right on the top this is it's a box set of the television show Viper I actually do remember this show I remember when this was on uh, and I get the connection Viper for G.I. Joe that's uh, hilarious uh, that's awesome uh, but no I do remember this show um, but when it all went off the air, I don't think I've thought of it since. I, until just now opening this, I don't think I have thought of this show since, since it was actually on TV. Um, that'll be an interesting watch. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks, Lawson. I'll, I'll check that out. And looking in the box, I see a few special vehicles, uh, some pretty awesome vehicles. I'll pull those out last. Uh, first, I see a couple more uh, DVDs. We've got... Uh, thank you very much, the, uh, the Power Rangers uh, movie. Um, I did not actually see that in movie theaters, so I will, uh, I will actually watch this. And, uh, oh, this is nice. Uh, the Dolph Lundgren Punisher movie. I did see this. I rented this thing on VHS uh, back when it was uh, at, um, oh, it was before Blockbuster. Uh, we didn't even, I don't think we even had a Blockbuster back then. But, yeah, I watched this back in the day. Um, that's uh, very amusing. Uh, oh, here's another one. Uh, and it's none other than G.I. Joe the movie. Um, yeah, uh, and just a reminder everybody, I will be reviewing this movie this year. Um, I have it on the calendar, it's not till later in the year, but yep, there will be a full review of this thing right here. Alright, I'm going to remove some of the packing material. Um, let's see what else is in here. Okay, I got a box that I can put it in right here. Alright. All right, 
taken some of the packing material out so I can see what all's here. Uh, there's one really cool vehicle that I've been looking for uh, that has been provided by Lawson, um, and that's pretty special to me. And it's very tempting to just pull that out uh, right away, but I am going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to pull that out here in a minute and see what else we got. Um, all right. Got some of the packing material out of the way. Uh, Oh, I see some figures. There's some loose figures in here. Uh, all right, there's Iceberg. We're all familiar with Iceberg. We like Iceberg. Um, this, what's this guy's name? Why can't I ever remember this guy's name? Where's my, where's the clicker? Let's, uh, let's zoom in. Uh, this Ninja Force dude. You know, with a ponytail. Uh, I'm totally uh, blanking on his name. I have read his name dozens of times. Uh, I, I know this guy. But at this exact moment, I cannot remember his name. I feel terrible about that. I'm an awful G.I. Joe reviewer. You should probably hurry up and go find someone else to watch, because I can't remember Ponytail Guy's name. There's a nice Night Creeper with his sword. Um, I'm actually um, uh, pondering a review of Night Creeper. I don't know if I'll get to him this year, but it's a figure that I've been uh, wanting to get to. Um, I just don't know exactly, exactly when that'll happen. Um, okay, I'm gonna pull out. I'm gonna pull out a vehicle, I guess. What's this? Um, oh, that's just part of the packing material. Um, and all right. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out one vehicle. Getting the zoom right for this video is not very easy because I want you to be able to see the small stuff, but the, I also want to make sure the big stuff fits in frame. So I hope I get that right. Um, but this vehicle right here. Yeah, look at that is none other than 1990 Destro's Dominator. Check that out. And look, there are a couple Destro's in the Dominator. Uh, Destro and his twin. Uh, that's so cool. You know, I'm a big fan of Iron Grenadiers. Um, it did get a little weird after a while, uh, but it had its own style. Uh, and I kind of dig its style. So right there, Destro's Dominator. Check that out. Uh, that's one I didn't have, uh, and it's one I'm happy to have. Uh, so thank you very much for that. Destro's Dominator, I'm going to set that over here. Um, what else can we pull out? Let's see. Let me move some packing material. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. We got, okay, we got some accessories. I don't know what that goes to yet. Uh, we have, oh, we got a figure with accessories, and this. Uh, this is a later version of, um, let me see if I can show it to you, a later version of Lifeline. I don't remember what year he's from, uh, but that's Lifeline with accessories. Very cool. Helps me um, finish up those uh, 90s figures. Um, it looks like I can't get to the rest of the stuff in this box until I move this uh, big vehicle in the, that's in the way. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, so let's check this out. All right, all right, let's pull it out. It's time to see it. This is right there from 1990, the Cobra Hurricane VTOL. This is a vehicle that I was thinking about getting. Um, I seriously was. Um, it's a very attractive jet to me. Um, I got out of G.I. Joe before this was released. But this is the jet that I was looking for and hoping for um, really the year before, or the couple of years before, when I was needing another Cobra jet um, and I had to settle, settle for the Stellar Stiletto, which is not really a, a, a combat jet, a, not really a fighter jet. This is the kind of thing that I was wanting. So the, uh, that's just so wicked awesome. Uh, the um, the uh, Hurricane VTOL and... Oh, and the pilot. Oh, there he is. Uh, and the pilot. Vapor. Yeah, there you go. No, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Um, I'm thrilled. Oh, we got a... In addition to that, we have a Range Viper uh, in the co-pilot seat. I'm going to set that aside. we got some parts for it here. Uh, I'll, I'll put that together later, but that is a special thrill for me uh, to get that particular jet. Uh, that's just so awesome. So what else we got here? Um, this is, um, I believe that's uh, the third version of uh, Shockwave, if I'm not mistaken. And we've got a really nice uh, roadblock here. 
uh, 90s roadblock. And we've got some accessories, and uh, I don't know exactly what these go to yet. I'm going to pull the accessories out because I don't want them to get lost. Uh, and we will sort those out later, uh, carefully, without breaking them or losing them. There's a, there's a ton of vehicles in this box. Um, a ton of them. My gosh. And uh, these are 90s vehicles, so these are vehicles that um, help me a lot with my collection. If there's one weak area in my collection, uh, it's in the 90s vehicle department. But, well, maybe not now, after getting all these. Uh, here are some figures, some loose figures. Uh, we got Bazooka, Cutter, and Chabong. Um, let's uh, zoom in. Got to zoom in so you can see some of the figures. Um, we know Chabong pretty well. Um, yeah, uh, so some some figures. Uh, there's a lot of packing material in here, which is good. There should be, uh, but I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything. Um, looks like there's that missile goes to the Hurricane. Um, okay. Next vehicle that I'm going to pull out, another pretty big one, and I better zoom out for it. Uh, back, 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 there. Uh, maybe a little further. Okay. Uh, it is none other than, uh, carefully, it's the Battle Wagon. Look at that. The Battle Wagon. This is, it's an interesting vehicle. It really is, and it's another one that... Um, I had had my eye on. Um, so it's a special thrill to me uh, to get the battle wagon. And who's in there? Oh, look at that. It's bulletproof. Check that out. Um, and uh, yeah, check that out. Now the battle wagon, uh, if I remember right, is motorized. Uh, so I'll uh, go through this and make sure all the parts are there. But yeah, check that out. The, the battle wagon. That thing is big. It's just, it, I mean, it's bigger in person than it seems in photos. This is a pretty sizable vehicle. Okay, what else we got here? Um, we got, let's see. Oh, that goes to the battle wagon. It looks like it's uh, it's cannon with missiles. Uh, so let's, I think I can just set it right in there. It should fit right, yeah. Fits right in there, like it's supposed to. Like it's made for it. Um, and, oh, here I see what, something I recognize. Uh, let me move some of these missiles out of the way. Uh, missiles for these vehicles, which is always nice. Always good to have the appropriate missiles. Um, I will sort those missiles out later. Uh, I just want to make sure they don't get lost or broken in the meantime. Uh, so, oh, look at that. There is... I keep digging in here and finding more stuff. It's like digging for gold. We got uh, 1989 Snake Eyes. Um, and we have right here, I'm going to go ahead and pull this one out, um, if I can get the packing material out of the way, and, um, it's the attack cruiser. Oh, we got, a uh, we got some figures in it. Oh, there's, there's Nunchuck, uh, from Ninja Force, and, uh, looks like in the, the attack cruiser we have, uh, Hawk, and uh, looks like the second version of Mercer. Not a bad version of Mercer. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, nice figure. So, the Battle Cruiser. Uh, extremely awesome. Uh, that's so cool. All right, one more vehicle, and I think this is the last one. And it's another one that uh, I was going to be in the market for pretty soon uh, because it is one of the more interesting vehicles of its era. The Mobile Battle Bunker. Yeah, uh, this thing was actually in uh, an episode, um, oh, when I reviewed uh, sci-fi um, and I was looking at the Deke uh, episodes, uh, this was in it and it was intriguing. Um, so the mobile battle wagon, and I believe that's it. I think that's everything. Hey everybody, it's HCC again, and it's a few days after I recorded that earlier part of the video, so I'm wearing a different shirt, but I've got more stuff that I wanted to include in this video, uh, so I want to sh show you this uh, stuff that came in more recently. And the first thing I want to show you was sent by Philip Hanks, who you may know as the Volcano Viper. And Philip sent something to me that helps me complete a figure and get it ready for review. Philip sent me the Toxo Viper file card. That's right, that's all I was missing. I've got the complete Toxo Viper. I just needed the file card to get this guy ready to review. He's ready to go now. Um, I don't know exactly when I will get to this, but 
Um, I will, you know, I will have plenty to say about the Toxo Viper, the aptly named Toxo Viper. This may seem like a small thing, but it's a big deal to me. This is a huge help. Um, I get a lot of uh, figures and vehicles, and um, you know, a lot of collectors consider figures to be complete without the file card. So a lot of sellers sell complete figures without the file card but if you watch my reviews you know I need the file card to actually have it ready for review and I've got a number of figures that they are complete but for the file card um, so uh, sometimes tracking down those file cards can be a hassle sometimes it's not too bad but just things like this that's a big help so thank you Philip and thank you for your longtime support of the channel I uh, thank you very much Volcano Viper I really appreciate this this next box comes from Brent uh, and uh, I have already opened this and taken the stuff out and I've repacked it so it's not packed the same way that it came but I just wanted to take it out and see what all was in it uh, but I put it back in and I'm gonna take it out again uh, to show you guys so let's see what Brent sent uh, it's pretty cool stuff uh, he sent some bubble wrap, always good, uh, never use too much bubble wrap, I think, um, and let me set this aside, and we have more bubble wrap, uh, even better, and let's see, let's start with, I put everything all in the same bag, um, let's start with, um, all right, well, let's start with this, let's start with this, um, you probably can't see that very well, but this, uh, in this bag, this is a pretty cool thing. We have, for the 1985 Mauler, we have one of the tiny antennas, uh, which these things can be so hard to find. Um, and it's fantastic to have an original and not a reproduction. Uh, there it is, uh, one of the antennas. Oh, hey, I just popped the bubble wrap. <laughs> uh, and then I have, from Brent, Ah, okay, I gotta move the bubble wrap. I'm, I'm popping it. Okay, I have the um, uh, the tow cable for the mauler. It is in two pieces. Uh, now, I have a decision to make. Uh, now, do I want to get an intact one or do I want to do a repair on this one um, and call this uh, complete? I may just repair this one. Uh, and keep it. Um, I'll, I will give that some thought, but this is awesome. Not a reproduction. Uh, the original vintage tow rope for a uh, tow cable for the mauler. And as you know, if you've ever tried to complete a mauler, this thing is so hard to find. So uh, that's awesome. Thank you very much, Brent, for that. Uh, and now let's look at what else he sent. Move these. Okay. Really important that I not lose these. Let's uh, put these back in the bag. There we go. And next is, let's see here, oh, I'm losing pieces. There we go. A figure. It is none other than the Astro Viper. There we go. With his helmet. Uh, I, I do have an Astro Viper figure, but basically just the figure. I don't have any of the accessories for it. Uh, and this is complete. Uh, this has his backpack. Uh, it has the little gun attachments and uh, the uh, and the uh, connector hoses for it. You know, I should wear a light colored shirt when I do this so I can like show you. Uh, but uh, yeah, all of the uh, uh, accessories are present uh, and. You know, I was just mentioning file cards. There's the file card. <laughs> so this guy is ready. Uh, that is awesome. Uh, so really great. Thank you, Brent, uh, for this. Uh, and that's another one uh, ready to go, ready to review when I can fit it on the schedule. I have one more box, and I think this is going to be the last box that comes in this month. Uh, this box is from Kevin, not from BX257, not Kevin from Venture Into the Vault, a different Kevin, but still a pretty cool Kevin. Uh, so um, I've already taken the packing material out of this box, so let's open it up and see what's inside. Uh, we have, let's see here, oh, we have a postcard uh, from Kevin, and I did read this earlier, um, but uh, this Kevin is from... SEO toy review right here on YouTube. Uh, so uh, please go check out his channel. Uh, SEO toy review uh, reviews does great 
toy reviews, like really good, solid toy reviews. They've been doing it for a long time, so really cool stuff. Uh, I did read this postcard. I won't uh, read the whole thing right now, but thank you very much, Kevin. Very thoughtful of you to send this stuff to me, uh, and I hope everybody checks out uh, SEO Toy Review. Uh, so let's check it out. Um, first of all, we have a card back, a full card back for Night Creeper. Night Creeper, this is a, a figure that I've been one to review. I mean, uh, I've, I've been trying to figure out how to fit it into the schedule uh, because I, I do have it ready to review now, and this card back uh, now really helps because I have the full card back to include in the review. Um, but I just haven't fit into the schedule yet. So really excited, looking forward to uh, reviewing Night Creeper, hopefully soon. Uh, so thank you for that. Uh, and then what else is in here is, uh, yes, um, let's see. Yeah, that's it. Uh, the, um, it's a hooded Cobra Commander. There you go. This is fantastic. You know, I, I like hooded Cobra Commander pretty much in any form. Uh, and so I'm going to put this uh, on display in my office. That's where I think this should go. Um, and this is, this came from a, looks like a blind bag, uh, kid robot. And this is from the Transformers vs. G.I. Joe series. Um, uh, the comic book series, the comic book series uh, by IDW, um, I think just wrapped up. Um, but these little um, figures uh, are based on that. And so it's got like uh, some Jack Kirby lines on it. Uh, looks looks kind of like comic book art. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, so yeah, this is going to go in my office. I'm very excited about this. I, uh, um, I really like... Um, uh, getting hooded Cobra Commanders, whether it's uh, in an action figure form uh, or like I have a uh, hooded Cobra Commander pop vinyl um, in my office uh, and this is going to go right next to it. So uh, that is the package from Kevin, uh, SEO Toy Review, uh, great stuff. I watch their stuff all the time, so check them out. Well, that should wrap up this uh, donation unboxing video. Thank you to everyone who sent stuff. Uh, super helpful. I can't tell you how helpful this is. Uh, it's just really more than, than I can express. Um, the things that you've sent to me uh, have helped me. They've given me things to review. Uh, they've really uh, kept me motivated to keep going uh, and to get these reviews done. Um, it's, uh, it makes me feel like this is more of a joint venture between all of us. We're all doing this together. Uh, it's not just me sitting here all by myself talking to a camera. Sometimes it can feel that way. I mean, really, this is creating these videos is uh, often kind of a solitary activity. It's me, it's a toy, it's a camera, and nobody else in the room. Uh, but when I get stuff like this uh, from you, it really actually makes me feel like we, we are doing this together. You are out there, uh, and we are interacting, and we're, you know, we're enjoying G.I. Joe together. It's not just me talking to a camera. So thank you. Uh, it just really deepens the whole experience for me. Uh, so I want to reiterate, nobody has to send me anything. Uh, it's, that's never, nobody should ever feel obligated to do that. Uh, but for those who have, thank you, thank you deeply, very much, thank you very much. Uh, and so that's it. Um, no more opening. I'm going to go ahead and edit all these uh, clips together, uh, get them up there so everybody can see all the cool stuff that was sent to me. Uh, I'll be back with a full G.I. Joe toy review in the near future, and I will see you then. Thanks for watching.